The Dutch call it Gaduga blade, their word for tolerance. Nowhere is it more clear than in Amsterdam. At more than 250 so-called coffee shops, you can buy small amounts of cannabis for personal use. For many, the policy is progressive, a partial decriminalizing of soft drugs, and it's been very good for tourism too. But Dutch law contains a big contradiction. While it may well be legal to sell things like cannabis and hashish in so-called coffee shops, it's still illegal to grow it and produce it in the first place. So you may run a legitimate business selling, but you have to break the law to buy your product. And that's where the criminals step in. The Dutch police union say the dark side of the Dutch drug story is growing. Drugs gangs are growing more powerful every day. In a recent report, they said, the Netherlands fulfills many characteristics of a narco state. Detectives see a parallel economy emerge. Criminals develop into wealthy entrepreneurs who establish themselves in the hospitality industry, housing market, middle class and travel agencies. It's particularly bad in the south, on farms where illegal sheds like this one are used to grow the weed. <laughs> Hendrik Brand runs a popular coffee shop in the city of Breda. The atmosphere is predictably relaxed and business is good. But Hendrik says keeping production illegal just encourages the criminals. We don't allow people uh, younger than 18 years here. But the street dealers and the house dealers, they don't care. They sell to 16-year-olds, they sell to 12-year-olds. Money is money for them. They don't pay taxes, we pay taxes. While we were in Breda, another drug-related crime. A man shot dead in this apartment. There's been more than a dozen killings in this area in the past year. Breda's mayor is also campaigning for a change to the law to regulate production. The Netherlands may not be a narco state yet, he says, but drugs money is so big, it's beginning to exert political influence. Uh, in the city, just uh, something uh, east from uh, Breda, a city called Tilburg, there was an investigation that the, um, uh, yearly there were the, the people were earning uh, 600 million euros per year in the cannabis industry. And that's more or less the same amount, same budget as the local government uh, by itself has. Most people we spoke to say the narco state comparison is exaggerated, but they know the system isn't working. A number of local pilot projects legalizing production are being discussed to try and cut out the criminals. In Breda, they're hoping their city will be chosen. Simon McGregor with TRT World in the Netherlands.